Uh, we will understand this video in two parts. First of all, there will be this theory of demodulation, which is very simple and uh, uh, intuitive to understand. So we will first have a look at this and then we will do some coding to understand each and every step of demodulation and the practical difficulties that are involved while demodulating a frequency modulated wave. So we will use only one kind of demodulator here, although there are multiple available. So we will discuss them in uh, one video after the other. So we begin by taking a frequency modulated wave equation. So this is the equation of frequency modulated wave and you receive it at receiver, right? So this information is there in, present in the angle of this complete signal. So ultimately at uh, but the process of demodulation simply means that we should have an idea of instantaneous frequency which is obtained from this angle. So this instantaneous frequency is omega i is equal to omega c plus kf into mt and we already know how we can get it from this demodulated signal. We just have to differentiate this complete angle and we can get this uh, frequency, instantaneous frequency. But we do not have this angle in isolation. We have this complete signal. So there has to be some way of taking out that angle from that signal or the instantaneous frequency. So the general filters which will be required sh should be such that their magnitude response should be h of omega magnitude is equal to a omega plus b. Now where does this comes from? This comes from the fact that uh, in time domain, if two signals are converged in frequency domain, they will be multiplied. We all know this. So the frequency domain response of this uh, particular signal, whatever it will be, it will be multiplied with this a omega plus b, omega being the frequency at which we are operating. So whatever is the frequency in the signal, it will be multiplied with it after we use this filter. So uh, omega frequency it is you know we will have it from omega c to kf mt means it will have a maximum value a minimum value depending upon the maximum minimum value of this mt so uh, at every point this thing will be multiplied so now <coughs> there are various realizations of this type of filter because we haven't spoken about the uh, uh, phase spectrum of this. So phase spectrum can be anything, but the only point is amplitude spectrum has to be like this. So that this term A omega plus B will be multiplied with uh, this particular thing in the output and we are only we will only be interested in this omega so we will be plotting the magnitude response of the combined h omega into the frequency uh, domain representation of this right so there are various realizations to this one such realization would be h omega can be selected as j omega right you can keep a is equal to j which is a complex number and then b can be taken as zero so this is also one of the realizations the magnitude of this is simply omega the magnitude of this will be simply omega and uh, you can just use this particular filter and uh, uh, if you look at it this is an ideal differentiator right so this is differentiator has the following transfer function so if you differentiate this particular equation means if you multiply this uh, in the frequency domain with the frequency response of this then you will get the differentiated equation of uh, frequency modulation and this is of this particular form so here you get readily the instantaneous frequency which is present in amplitude portion and in frequency uh, modulated wave is present here and instead of cos it will become sine because of the process of differentiation so this complete signal which is the derivative of your frequency modulated wave it will contain two parts one is amplitude modulation part and one is frequency modulation part and if you will plot this signal you will get the same uh, frequency modulated wave it's only that the amplitude of this will also start to vary and the variation will be as per this particular thing because in amplitude you are getting instantaneous frequency 